Currently, there's a total of 114 achievements in Soul Knight. Some achievements require skill, while other requires luck. Some requires perseverance, but there are also easier tasks such as closing a faucet. And then, there is this super hard achievement that requires 3 living sacrifices. This achievement requires you to have 3 friends. But the achievement that we will talk about today is much more hardcore than the achievements we mentioned earlier. What do you think it is? The answer is simple. We just need to collect these 5 weapons. But Crimson that Gaming, I already have all of those, and they are not even hard to collect. Well, you are correct. But what if we collect all these weapons in another world? For context, I've collected all these weapons in Soul Knight Prequel. Soul Knight Prequel requires only two things. One is luck, and the other one is patience. Do I have luck? No. Do I have patience? No. But during the making of this video, all I have is a lot of time. And for you to appreciate how rare these weapons are, here are some posts from the internet. This guy raided a dungeon 300 times but got nothing. While this guy defeated the same elite boss 400 to 500 times. While this guy spent 6 days with zero results. And you know that there is something wrong when a situation becomes a meme. And this guy is even willing to spend some money to just get a soul caliber. But wait, that's just one. And there's four more left. This bow is so rare that other YouTuber, Itnoy Gaming, spent almost 2 months just to get this. While Buddha's Palm existence is not even known in Soul Knight prequel, Reddit, and Facebook community. And just imagine Soul Calibur rarity and multiply it by 10 to get this legendary one punch because it can only appear on weekends. So, do I recommend doing this challenge? Absolutely not. I think only diehard Soul Knight psychos will attempt this kind of madness. So let's start from the beginning. It all begins on Season 0. And the first to fall into my hands is the Magic Bow. And back then, I don't have any ideas on how rare this bow is. I just realized it when I watched it my gaming video about it. But luckily, I just accidentally got it while grinding for Slime Armor set that will match my Afro hair back in Season 0. And during the rest of Season 0 and Season 1, I tried grinding for Soul Calibur and Shotgun M1. Again, and again, and again. And guess what? I didn't find any. I even thought that maybe not all accounts have the chance to get rare items. I uninstalled the game because of frustration. Imagine grinding for two full seasons and not getting any. Then 2 weeks ago, I decided to install the game again, and in just 35 minutes of playing, I finally found my very first Shotgun M1. From this point on, I decided to continue my Soul Knight Artifacts hunting journey. The next weapon that I aimed for is Buddha's Palm, since it's only legendary in rarity a lower rarity than the insane soul caliber and one punch. Then after literally hundreds of attempts, the only item that I got is this fake book entitled Buddha's Bomb. Then the next thing to happen is unexpected. On the fourth day of my artifact hunting journey, I wake up early. The first thing that I did in the morning is enter a projection dungeon. Then all of a sudden, a red ray appear. I finally found my first soul caliber. 
I didn't expect it at all. I even thought that I am dreaming. It is even my very first game on that day. So at this point, I am 3 over 5 and full of joy and excitement. My time has come. My luck is at its all-time peak. Two thousand years later. I think my luck has run out. It's been more than a week of continuous grind of more than 3 hours a day and there is still no Buddha's palm. At this point, I feel like a Pokemon YouTuber hunting for shinies. I should have listened to Itnoy Gaming when he said that this weapon has a lower spawn rate than red items. And when I say it's rarer than red items, I mean it. Just look at this. While I'm looking for Buddha's Falm, I have collected more than two layers of Hell Heart. I've acquired one ultra rare true Hell Heart, my second Soul Caliber, and another Shotgun M1. Just imagine how many Arm Master Full Grim I've killed to get 86 pieces of his boss card. I even have a full storage of his equipment. But finally, after exactly 9 days of continuous hunting, on May 23, I finally found my very first Buddha's card. And if you're not a Soul Light fan, I don't recommend grinding for it because it is a complete trash. DPS is so low and its special attack will require you a lot of time to cast. Now for the final challenge, I will hunt the second rarest weapon in the game. This weapon will take a century or even a millennium to acquire if you will grind for it normally because the boss that drops this weapon only appears one time on Saturday and another one time on Sunday. Luckily, we have the unlimited runs bug, so we can exploit this crab on weekends. This video includes 3 Saturdays and 3 Sundays. And luckily, on the third Sunday, I finally get the one punch using a new method that I figured out. What I did here is I utilized the new Trial Chambers mode. In there, you can encounter Gold Crab even on weekdays. And I use my embers to fill my daily invitation with Gold Crabs. I tried it several times. But in the run that gave me my one punch, I only use one purple amber. And the rest is history. And that is the story of how I achieved Soul Knight's hardest achievement of collecting these weapons in another world. Hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.